Hello one and all and welcome to another episode of The One Motorhome. Uh, today we're going to be demonstrating a lovely British made van for you. Uh, this one is built on a Peugeot chassis, it's got 165 brake horsepower, it's got a 6 speed manual gearbox. Uh, it's called an Autosleepers Broadway EL. Uh, the EL standing for L End Lounge, so it's got a lovely U-shaped lounge at the back. Now there's lots I'm going to show you, so follow me around and let's have a really good look. So as usual, we'll start on the outside of the vehicle and then we'll go inside and have a good look at the layout, the design and the features and benefits of this particular van. As you can see, it comes with a silver cab with alloy wheels. It has got a really large skylight on the top here, so that brings in lots of light inside, which I shall show you very shortly. The graphics are very nice on this van as well. It's got an electric step just above the habitation door there it's got an led strip light to keep that area illuminated and it's got a really large chule canopy up there as well so that will protect you from both the sun and the rain now just beneath here is where you fill up your water so you can just pop that off and you put a hose in there and fill that up it's got a really large size uh, water tank which i'll go through a little bit later on um, the different kind of spec and um, fresh water tank size, wastewater tank size, that sort of thing. Just here we've got a three pin plug, so you can plug in your stereo or a TV outside. Moving down a little bit more, we've got an external barbecue point and that's linked directly to the 25 litre underfloor mounted gas tank. Now that is a refillable tank, so it will save you having gas bottles, having to lug them around and of course, uh, it will save you money as well. Now, we've got a little bit of storage on this van. So just in here, if I can open it with one hand, let's have a look. Just in here, this runs all the way through the back of the vehicle and then just to the left, it's got the carpets in at the moment, but there's storage all underneath that. Now this is directly underneath the U-shaped lounge and you can access this from inside, which again, I'll show you a little bit more about when we get inside. With the auto sleepers, they come with these really nice LED strip lights and they are bike rack ready. So you've got the bike rack bars on the bottom here and they're conveniently placed very low down so you can actually very easily put a bike rack on this. Uh, this is a reversing camera up on the top and obviously the habitation window at the back there and you've got a very nice panoramic view from when you sat in the lounge area at the back but we'll go in there and have a look. Uh, two seconds. Now this is for the Trume event, so that's to do with the heating system and the boiler. And this is where you can suck water into the vehicle. So there's actually two ways of filling this, either by sucking water in or by putting a pipe or a hose on the other side. Now I've got this one plugged in at the moment. So this is where you plug in on the campsite or if you're at home and you'd like to charge the van, that's where you do that. And then just next to that, You've got a little point where you've got a 12 volt socket, you've got a TV aerial and a satellite connection. So if you're on a campsite and they've got a TV aerial connection, you can plug that in and obviously get a better signal. But it has got a TV aerial up on the roof and it's also got a Wi-Fi aerial. Um, this is where you refill the gas and this is the toilet cassette. So that's where that lives and it's just tucked away in there. As with most auto sleepers, it does come with a little digital gauge inside. So just in here, you can see little digital gauge to show you how much gas you've got on board. Now inside here, you've got a multifunctional steering wheel. And as I mentioned, it has got a six speed manual gearbox, but we'll go inside and have a proper look at that in a second. But just to give you a good look at this fan, look at this, really, really nice. Very, very spacious layout inside. Uh, but let's go inside and have a look. So I'm just sat inside the van now. Um, you can probably see it's very, very cold outside. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So I think it's about minus four today. I haven't actually put the heating on in this van yet, so it is very chilly. Um, this has got grade three insulation, uh, so it is very nice and cozy in here once you get the heating on. Uh, it brings it up to temperature very well and we'll obviously go through that when we go through the control panel. Um, 
Firstly, like what I'd like to ask is if you do like these video demonstrations and you are looking for a motorhome or you know someone who's looking for a motorhome or you're just interested in motorhomes in general, um, then please do like the video and subscribe to the channel because it really helps me get moving on. Uh, it's a very small channel at the moment and it's moving up. I'll give it that. Um, but we'd like to get it out to everybody so they can have a really good look and really find the perfect motorhome for them. Uh, but let's have a look inside the cab, shall we? Right, so we're just inside the cab now. Um, just to let you know, both seats do swivel around. So the driver's seat and the passenger seat, they do swivel around. So that makes good use of the space inside here. We've got this touchscreen stereo. Um, now that does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can link your mobile phone to that and have Google Maps or Apple Maps, which will give you live traffic feed. So that is very, very handy. And of course, DAB radio with all the latest functions with that. As I mentioned, you've got a multifunctional steering wheel so you can control the stereo, answer your telephone, that sort of thing. It has got cruise control, cab air conditioning. We've got two cup holders beneath here, which are an essential. <laughs> um, just to the left of that you've got a glove compartment just here and another one underneath so lots of space to keep your things now this has got the winter pack on it so it's got concertina cab blinds all the way around the front here so that is very nicely all shut off of an evening to keep it nice and private and as I mentioned just above the cab you've got this huge skylight um, you've also got a little bit of storage both sides it's on the left here and the right and it's really well illuminated actually um, but that gives you a good kind of picture of the cab there very comfortable seats armrests on both sides uh, so really nice for traveling so moving back from the driving area into the kitchen now this here is basically a work surface which you can fold away and then bring down so if you're really into your cooking then that gives you a lot of space actually to get all your food prepared and things like that really nice size oven so big oven again you can fit a chicken in there and a grill three gas burners and if you've not watched my videos before electric hot plate so if you're on a campsite you can plug into their electricity and that will save your gas now just above the hob You've got an extractor fan up here, so that's a carbon extractor. And to the right hand side, you can see there we've got a microwave and that is a plateless microwave. So things are not going to rattle around as you drive. Now this, as you're probably aware of, is Auto Sleeper's trademark. So we've got the crystal glasses that come with this vehicle and you've got space there to keep two wine bottles or two bottles of drink. So you've got a rolling bar. <laughs> Um, it does come with two racks, one rack that clips onto this glass, which I'll just pop up so you can have a look. But you've got a rack that clips onto there where you can put your plates to drain them down. And you've also got a draining board just here as well. Plugs, we've got plenty of them. Three three pin plugs here and you can tuck those away actually. If I just press that button there, that will just slide down and out of the way. Kitchen roll holder. So you can pop your kitchen roll on there and yeah just a great great kitchen lots of cupboard space little bit underneath there drawer for your uh, knives and forks just beneath that another drawer and they're re really quite deep actually so you can get a lot of stuff in these and then this one little cupboard again lots of space and look at that even comes with a Yale um safe so very very good you can keep all your passports and your wallets and things like that in there which is very handy and a bit more storage underneath there as well but yeah a great size kitchen and very late very well laid out uh, just to point out as well if that wasn't enough work surface for you there um you've even got an extra bit here look at that so the kitchen is very, very useful and lots and lots of space. Uh, to the right here, we've got the toilet and shower, which I'll show you in a second. And then just here, we've got plenty of storage space. At the moment, it's brand new, so it's got all its bits and bobs in there, so I do apologise. But this is a cupboard for hanging your clothes. It's got a fold-away table, which you can use inside and outside the vehicle. And this little leg here, 
has actually got a little cocktail table um, which fits in just on the floor down there and uh, just there and you've got a table which can be connected there as well right so fridge freezer really nice size fridge freezer look at that and then at the top you've got a freezer box now this is a three-way fridge freezer so it'll run from gas electric and the leisure battery just above a bit of storage and that is the avtex wi-fi system so just this black unit on the left uh, that's for the wi-fi aerial on the roof and then just to the right there that is a booster box for the digital television aerial so you've got a digital tv aerial and a wi-fi aerial so if you like to work away from home or you've got a wi-fi tv uh, that is excellent lots of storage up top another one here loads of storage again more in here more this this one, one thing this van is not short of actually it's storage space there's plenty of room for everything all your clothes and everything that you might want is all in here all available to be tucked away in here uh you even got a plate rack in here actually um so moving down let's have a look again you've got a little cupboard in here let's see if we can have a look in here so there's lots of space in there and then on top you've got two usb points you've got a 12 volt point your tv error connections and a three pin plug now these little USB points can be tucked away, so you can just pop those down if you want a flat surface. Uh, so that's, I'm guessing, where your TV will live. But check this out. Have a look at this lounge area. Now this is a two berth motorhome, so it's really a luxurious, spacious two berth. Now you can either use this as two single beds, or that will pull out and you've got infill cushions, which will make that into a huge double. And I'll give you the dimensions of that in a second. But what do you think so far, guys? I mean, this is absolutely incredible. Uh, again, with Auto Sleeper, you have these LED lights which you can move along the tracks. So if you're reading at one end, then you can do that. Obviously, slide it along, and then you've got some extra light. You've got those all the way around, actually. So you've got two there, uh, another two there. You've got lots of nice lighting. So up on the top, you've got this LED strip light going all the way around. Um, and as you can see there, it's got surround sound stereo. So you've got speakers here, here, and obviously you've got speakers at the front of this vehicle as well. Um, but what do you think so far? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Let's have a look at the bathroom. So coming down from the living area, just to the right hand side, just pop in here. This is your toilet and shower. So you've got an electric flush toilet. Just above that, you've obviously got your towel rail holder, You've got a toothbrush holder and a bit of storage for your shower gels and things like that, your aftershaves, and then also a bit on top. Also in the shower, you've got some more storage for your shower gels, toiletries and things. Really nice shower. And then just up here, see if I can show you this actually. Pull that out and then you can pull this across. Now this clips onto one side of the wall and you can actually blast hot air in here. So you can use this as your drying room for your towels and things like that. Now, all the lights on the roof, these round lights are all touch sensitive. So touch them on, touch them off. And if you hold those, you can dim them as well. One of the fantastic features about this fan is that you've got this huge area for getting uh, ready or you know brushing your teeth having a shower that sort of thing but if you want a separate toilet and shower you can pull this round like that so it actually pulls it across which makes this into a cubicle and then just to the left here this door does pull towards me so you can completely close that off uh, which is great it's a brilliant design Auto Sleeper do have that in a few of their vans actually, and I think it's brilliant. Uh, but let's go into a few of the details of the specifications of this van. Right, so let's give you a few of the specs. So uh, the overall length of this van is 6630, so just over 6.6 .6 meters. So it's not huge, yet it feels huge inside. 
Um, it's around 2.3 meters wide. And uh, the overall height is 2.9 meters. So it's under three meters, which most people would like to go for. Uh, it's three and a half ton chassis. So you can drive it on a car license, a standard license. So you don't need to worry about a C1 or anything like that. And the user payload is 329 kilograms. The fresh water tank is 102 litres. So you've got a really big fresh uh, water tank and the wastewater tank is 78 litres. Now, this is where things get good. Uh, the rear bed in this is 2.2 metres by 1.9 or roughly 1.9 metres. So it's a huge bed. So this whole area at the back here will turn into a gigantic double bed, which I think is brilliant. Uh, if you don't want to have it as a double and you'd like singles, then you can have the singles and they're around 1.9 meters by around uh, 70 centimeters. So nice size single beds as well. Right, so that's giving you a little bit of the information about obviously the length and the different things it has on it. But let's go a little bit more into actually what it's got on it. So this one's got the premium pack and the winter pack. Now the winter pack obviously gives you an upgraded heating system and you get the concertina cab blinds. Um, but one of the main things you get from that is actually heated tanks. So if you want to use the vehicle in the winter, uh, in the cold weather such as now, uh, then you can obviously turn the heated uh, tanks on so that your water tanks won't freeze. So it's got that. Now with the premium pack, you've got reversing camera, uh, digital TV aerial, Wi-Fi aerial. It's got a solar panel on the roof, external barbecue point, refillable gas point or refillable gas tank, should I say. So it's got lots and lots of extras on it. And of course, you've got that big Chule canopy on the side of this vehicle. The great thing about auto sleeper actually is that most of the things that you want come with it. You don't need to spend anything extra once you've bought the vehicle. The only thing you might want to do is put a bike rack on the back of this, uh, but it does come with the bars ready to do that. So that's no problem. Right. So let's have a look at the control panel and the new uh, Truma system. Right. So just above the habitation door, we've got this touchscreen system. Um, very easy to use actually. This one's for your lights. Uh, this you can change from vehicle battery to leisure battery. You can see uh, exactly what's going on with this. So you can see the battery levels, your solar current, the mains current, everything's very simple and easy to use with this. Uh, this shows you your fresh water level and your wastewater level. Uh, at the moment, obviously this is a new van, so we haven't got any water in there. Um, you can also turn the tank heaters and things like that on on this panel. Now, this is a 2023 Auto Sleeper, so it comes with this brand new Truma panel. Now, this I've only really looked at it very briefly, uh, but I have to say it looks brilliant. Uh, this one is room climate, so you can press that. You can either have heating or ventilation. So if I pressed heating, you can obviously mess around with this turning the heating up and down so this turns it down this one turns it up uh, you can go from electricity to gas what uh, what do you want it to go to from the electricity all sorts of stuff and it's very easy to use now i am told that with this as well you can connect it let's have a look so you can connect it to a smartphone so you can connect it to that while you're out and about you can turn the heating on check out what's going on with the van and all sorts of things. But this is a brilliant system and this is new for 2023. Right then guys, so that was the Auto Sleeper Broadway EL. Uh, very nice. One thing I didn't mention actually with the extras is that this does actually come with a flat screen television and a sound bar. Uh, the flat screen television is Wi-Fi, so it's a smart TV which can connect directly up to the Wi-Fi area on the roof. So that's brilliant. Um, we do lots of demonstrations uh, and there'll be another one coming up shortly. Uh, if you do like the videos, uh, please put a comment below, press like, press the little thumbs up. And mainly what we really like is if you subscribe to the channel so that you'll get updates on all the videos as and when they come on. Um, you can do that by pressing my little face should be down here somewhere. Uh, press that, press subscribe, press the little bell so that you get notifications. 
Um, and yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll be coming along the ride with me and hopefully we'll find the perfect motorhome for you. Uh, today's demo was obviously the Broadway uh, EL. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon. Um, last of all, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Choose Leisure Motorhomes in Canterbury for letting me demonstrate this vehicle today. So a big thumbs up to them.